Oh, welcome to Multipart Studios. So, Multipart Studios, I highly suggest quickly, briefly looking through these videos. All you gotta know is we're making multiple parts in the same part studio. We've already kind of done it once or twice, um, but it's especially useful moving forward if you're designing something, you want to have uh, things referencing each other, uh, you want to see how they uh, fit together. Um, when we move on to our next module, um, you'll see how it's especially critical sometimes to have um, objects modeled together, but then sometimes it doesn't make sense. Um, there, there are situations where you don't need to model a bunch of stuff together because it really only is going to get fit together at the end, and then in that case, in some scenarios, we can use assemblies is what we'll talk about next time. So um, what we're going to work on, we're going to work on first module here, uh, poorly chosen name, master sketch there. Uh, you can call it primary sketch, driving sketch, uh, there are a million different names. Main sketch, kind of an antiquated term. Um, we're going to hop in here, go to next. And if we hop into our document, you want to be looking at your front um, plane. And then let's go ahead and make a sketch on that front plane. Now, we can call that sketch anything, main sketch, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to draw this. Um, all construction lines, we got to take a look at our constraints here. What we got to be careful about is um, A, uh, how we're constraining things as we draw, and then B, uh, just double checking, triple checking what's actually going on in here. So we want to make sure we don't add any new constraints, otherwise things can get messed up as we add dimensions and all that fun stuff. So we're going to start with this line right here, because it's a line that we actually have to reference the midpoint of. And that's our origin right there. So we're going to start with the horizontal and this diagonal, actually. Um, hop back into our document, line and construction. And the easiest one to start with is this like very much defined construction line. It'll turn black right away. I'm going to hit LQ, and I'm just going to draw a line out here. The reason I'm just drawing a line is because I need a line that has a point on its midpoint. Once I have that, we can make this point coincident, I just grabbed our coincident tool, to our origin here. All right, so we now have, that's just bugging me right there, we now have our two construction lines. Um, the only constraint is that they're both touching our origin. All right, we got this, we got this. Now what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna create some other lines. And these lines we have to be very, very, very careful because we do not want this to be perpendicular to this, and the same goes up here. Um, we do want these two lines to be perpendicular to each other, but not this line to this line. Um, and then we're gonna set some lines equal, that one's already horizontal, that's fine. And then we do some symmetry with our construction line that's defined, and these two points are here. So let's hop back in, and if we take a look, uh, we can do LQ, and we can draw a line. Make sure it is not perpendicular. You do not want a perpendicular line. So just draw it down a little bit, draw your thing up there, and then LQ again. We just draw a straight line down. Again, not perpendicular. You do not want a line that's perpendicular. That's what's going on right here. You want a line that is not perpendicular. Not this, this. Good. Whew. Whew. All right, so we're gonna make this point and this point symmetric over this line. So I hit symmetry, hit our construction line, hit our two points, bing, bing, and it is symmetric. Now what we need to do, this line and this line, remember, are going to be perpendicular. Boom, they're perpendicular. Now, finally, we're gonna set this line, this line, and this line and this line all equal to each other. So I was using my equal tool there, E. This line to this line, this line to this line. Boom, boom, boom. That is step two. It is entirely critical we get these things right because it will not work later on if we get things wrong. I can help you fix that probably, but uh, it's just better to get things right the first time. So now we're gonna draw some lines, two different sizes, a uh, little tiny inner and then a bigger outer. And then this is one that's not uh, constrained at all. Um, so we're going to be setting the outer ones equal to each other, A's and B's equal to each other. Uh, all the A's and all the B's. So grab our circle tool, boom, 
boom, boom, oh, a little oopsie there, boom, oh, that's also a little oopsie, I should zoom in, I don't like those little oopsies, yeah, they're okay sometimes, but for this, we really got to be precise, we got two circles here, just make sure you're always on that point as we work through this work. Do I got one here? Yeah, we got a little guy there. Okay, so now we can grab our equals constraint. Again, all of the inside ones are gonna be equal to each other. Those are our A's, all stars, or all star circles. And then now we're gonna do our outer circles, our B's, B team. B team's not a bad team to be on, you know? Sometimes you wanna be on the B team. You don't get beat up as much. You don't get stressed out sometimes. I mean, you still have decent games, though, you know? No, nothing wrong with being on the B team. Um, step four. We're going to add some dimensions in here. So if you notice anything goes red here, probably something is wrong with your constraints. Uh, so either it makes sense to redraw or to turn on show constraints and see maybe if you went wrong somewhere and tried deleting a few constraints, especially the ones that go like dark red. So uh, I'm going to try to remember this. Uh, this line from this point to this point should be 75. Oh, uh, this line should be 175. Um, if I'm not mistaken... This inner circle is 10, but I'm not gonna change it at that one. What can happen, you always wanna start with the outer circle, because um, sometimes you can kind of flip things by accident, you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna start with the outer circle, make it 25, inner circle, let's make it 10. Um, and now we're cooking, we're cooking with gas. Um, let's see what step five looks like. I think, oh, I missed one dimension. This is supposed to be 50. It looks so close, but it was a little tiny bit off. Um, good deal. And it's telling you here, start with the 175. That's a good hint. Now what we're going to do, we're going to draw some additional lines. And it looks like we're making these lines tangent to uh, the vertices on our uh, circle. So um, kind of looks like the, the old, uh, you know, the good old um, bracket, that first exercise we did. Um, good times, good times. We've made it so far since then. I'm proud of us. Um, so if we hop in here, I'm going to move these dimensions a little tiny bit away just to clear things up. Uh, we need to create some real lines. They're not construction lines. They're real. And um, I'm going to click this line. It's, it's throwing a tangent um, constraint already, which is great. I like that. Um, but we're going to have to come back and double check on our tangent stuff. Um, this line actually doesn't go there. This line should be going like down to here. This line, that's throwing a tangent, so we like that. Um, hit escape, and then let's see, can I make another line here? And then can it be tangent here? Yeah, I can. All right, there we go. And then let's see what else. Just make sure, again, you don't want these dark, uh, these lines to show up. They're, they're messing with you. You don't want constraints unless you really are looking for that constraint like I'm, I'm really looking for that tangent icon that just popped up but i'm not looking to have the line pop up when i don't need it because that would just be frustrating if i had a constraint that i didn't need all right so now that like we've done this piece let's let's go through and tangent it just so we don't forget so the line the circle the line the circle the line the circle line circle line circle. I think I got tangent like kind of sort of where I wanted it. Line, circle. Line, circle. And if I didn't get it, I was pretty darn close, right? So line, circle. All right, cool. We've done all those tangenting things that we need. Um, and um, let's see. What's our next? What's our next step? I think we just go on to the next step. Oh, whoa. Um, this circle is tangent to this line. Hmm. So we need to make this circle tangent to this line. And we need to make these two lines parallel to each other. Um, just going back one step. 
Yeah, we got everything. All right, so this line is tangent to this circle, but they're not touching. This line and this line are parallel to each other. Parallel is easiest, so let's do that. That's equal, let's hit parallel. Boom, boom, done, sweet, like it. And then tangent, this line to this circle. Awesome, amazing, beautiful. Um, now we can start drawing this. So we got some tangent vertices here. Uh, we have kind of a floater out here and some tangent vertices. We're gonna have to go through and tangent them again. There's, there's no way around it. All right, what does it look like again? Okay, we got this. So we're gonna start up here with a line, bring it out into space, bring it on over, and there's our tangent. Hit escape, start a new line, start it here, tangent, hit escape, start a new line, click it here, can I get tangent? Bingo. So um, we need to make these two tangent to this circle and we need to make these two tangent to that circle. So let's hop through and do that. Line, circle, line, circle, line, circle, line, circle. And just for good luck, line, circle, line, circle. That looks decent. This is a little out of place, but uh, we'll probably dimension stuff in a moment. Um, let's see what else we gotta do. Probably gotta do some other parallel stuff. Yeah, tangent. This needs to be tangent to this, and these two lines need to be parallel. That's not parallel, which is kind of confusing, but that's okay. Parallel, boom, boom. Tangent, this line to this circle. Huh, cool. I like it, good deal, good deal. Um, now we're gonna hit next, and are these new circles? Yes, these are new circles. So one, two, three, four, they're all equal to each other. And then we have a fillet here and a fillet here. That's a radius of 15. Okay, so let's do the new circles because I think that that feels the, the, yeah, that feels right. What I'm confused about, and I gotta look up again, it's like we're not, we never turned black here. So our dimensions are a little bit weird and that could be an equals constraint. Let's see. Our lines never got defined. Um, these are all equal to each other. And it's, it's definitely just a, a constraint that's not happy. Let's see, can I move this? Yeah, I can. It looks fine. If it's not black, it's fine. Let's just keep moving. We'll keep going until we break this darn thing. Let's make those little circles and then set them to be 15. So uh, I think we got a circle pretty much everywhere but the two ends. So uh, ba 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 We got equals. Equal, 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 equal. And uh, is it not 15? We're not doing that yet. Um, we are going to fill it. So if we look here, uh, oh yeah, we do have 15, but that's our next step. We don't want that yet. Um, we need to do this fillet right here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to Make a fillet here, make a fillet here. Radius is 15, so let's hop on back in. And we need to find our fillet tool. Fillet tool should be right up next to the skizzers. There we go, sketch fillet. And I can click here and here. And yeah, we're gonna make it 15. Click here and here, and click again, 15, bingo. Sweet, all right, so now our next step, I'm not even gonna hop back there yet. Uh, this needs to be 15, I was darn close. Everything else is now 15. And now we can check off the sketch. Look at us go, and we're done. So um, we've made the uh, like primary sketch, whatever you wanna call it, main sketch. 
Uh, again, master is an antiquated term that it just doesn't make sense in computing anymore. Um, we're not living in the 1800s, like, 1700s. Um, so um, we got our primary sketch. You can do that in math that it asks you to do, and you can check it off if you're trying to go for completion for the certification for that next self-check if you'd like to do that. Please let me know if you need any help or questions. In our next video, we are going to work on exercise creating multiple parts in a part studio using this very sketch that we just created. Yes, it's going to be great. I'll see you then. Take care. Thank you.